Yo, what's going on? And welcome to some Yu-Gi-Oh! Reshif of Destruction. Uh, now, it's been quite a struggle figuring out exactly what to play at the moment. I was just going to wait for Steel Rising, um, but I wanted to get it on PC, and it turns out that the PC port doesn't really work too well at the moment. Um, so we'll probably be doing that in the future, but for now we got to wait for it to be patched. Um... And then I was trying to think of something else fun that we could do. Now, recently we played Pokemon Unbound, and that was a good time. Um, so I was thinking of, like, what old games maybe could I play? And I wanted to play a Yu-Gi-Oh! game, because there are a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh! games that I didn't play. Um, but this is actually one that I have played, kind of. Um, so I had this game. And if you know anything about this game, this game doesn't exactly follow all of the rules to a T. Um, and we'll get into that later. But this game is a normal Yu-Gi-Oh game that is very difficult. Um, and from what I remember, it's because your cards kind of suck. And there's... A weird mechanic in the game that isn't part of normal Yu-Gi-Oh that can lead you to lose or win battles that you wouldn't expect to win. Um, so anyways, that being the case, we're going to get into this. I have played a long time ago because I did have this game for uh, the Game Boy Advance, but I think it should be fun. Um, and I, I was looking into maybe playing some other Yu-Gi-Oh games that I haven't played, uh, like story based ones. So we might try that as well because I did figure out how to get them working. But I figured we'd start with this because this one is going to be a challenge. And I do like challenges. Sometimes. Uh, this one might be too difficult. But we'll see if we have... How did that do too? We'll see if we have to do like grinding and stuff. Which I remember being a thing. I remember grinding a little bit in this game. Now I did not never beat this game. And oh, don't. That's too many. I don't know how far I was in the game, honestly. Because I don't really know how long this game is. Um, I just know that I made it a fair distance after a very long time. Now, obviously, I don't think anything in this game is actually going to be voiced over. Uh, that, that looks like Pegasus, kind of a, a weird looking Pegasus. And so we're we're the blue hat kid here. Um, and our friends are Joey and I believe Yugi should join us in a little bit. But anyways, now I put this monster. Uh, I don't know. How does Joey's voice sound? I don't know if I could do a Joey voice. Maybe not right now. Maybe I'll, I'll get into the mood a little bit later, but... Now I put this monster card in here, like so. And voila, I'm good to go. How's adjusting your deck coming along? I don't even know what my deck looks like, so it must be perfect. You sure about that? Let the expert, <laughs> the one and only Joey Wheeler, check it out. Uh, it's cool to be confident about your skills, but you still have lots of work to do on this deck before it's any good. Look, that's not very nice. I didn't even get to choose any of my cards. Hey, don't feel bad. I know you can construct an awesome deck. Alright guys, I'm gonna totally rock with this deck today. Man, I can't wait for the dual express train to come. It's been too long since I've dueled in a tournament. Zelixis and Yugi and I are gonna own this tourney. Let's go for I don't know what by the by the way what? Yeah, but don't think I'm gonna let you win. And that goes double for Yugi. Speaking of who, who why isn't Yugi here yet? Oh man, this stinks. Look at the time already. He's late. Come on, Yugi, how can you even think about being late on a day like this? He doesn't get in here soon, we'll miss the Duel Express. And he was the one who promised that the three of us were gonna take the train together. Man, that Yugi, arg. If he doesn't get here, he could give me all his rare cards and I still won't forgive him. Hey look, he's here. 
Selixis, everything's horrible. Well, that's not good. My other self, the Millennium Puzzle. My puzzle is gone along with the spirit inside. When I woke up this morning, it was gone. I... I... what am I supposed to do? Hey, we can't waste time standing here and talking. Slixis, what do you think we should do? Uh, yeah, but maybe don't leave it to me. It sounds like my deck is not good. Okay, then, that's what we're gonna do. You got it, Yugi. I won't stop until I find my dearest friend, I promise. I'm counting on you. Yep. Guess we're here now. Slixis, what are you still doing here? Aren't the three of you taking the Dual Express? What? The Millennium Puzzle is gone? But how did that happen? Uh-oh, it's a Shizu. Forgive me, but I overheard your conversation. That was quite rude of you. So it seems the Millennium Puzzle has also disappeared. What I have feared the most is coming to fruition. Please, I need your help. I see you're puzzled, but that is only to be expected. Please bear with me and listen to my words. Carefully, I have come to ask you duelists for help. You must save the world from Reshif the Dark Being. I don't know who that is. I understand this is sudden and confusing. However, the world is in grave peril. Only strong duelists such as yourselves can save us. All from ruin before it's too late. All the Millennium items have disappeared. This is most likely due to Reshif's resurrection. An unknown entity must have commenced a fusion ritual on the Egyptian god cards. Ah, yes, of course. <laughs> Which re-released Reshif, the dark being, into the world. The ritual stole the mighty power of the Egyptian god cards, and the cards, now drained of its mystical energies, transformed into stone. You must send the dark being to its eternal rest before the world is destroyed. But in order to accomplish this feat, the Egyptian god cards are absolutely essential. I thought you just said they were all turned to stone. However, since the Egyptian god cards have been turned... Yep. They no longer have power, okay? Only the Millennium items can receive... You see... N n this isn't really adding up. We can't get the Millennium items without the god cards. But we can't power the god cards without the Millennium items. Can restore them to their former glory. The items have been scattered all over the world. What? Why? And how? <laughs> they must be regra regained to resurrect the Egyptian god cards. And with help from the Egyptian gods, we may have a chance of sealing away the dark being. I'm counting on you to accomplish this task. Please, my powerful duelists. If left unchecked, the dark being's strength will keep growing. The world will be shrouded in perpetual darkness. Please help save the world. Yeah, okay. What should we do? Defeat the Dark Being? That's impossible. I guess defeat the Dark Being. I knew you'd say that. Besides, I have to find my Millennium Puzzle. I'll go with you. Since you said I'm a powerful duelist, how can I refuse? I'm coming along too. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. First, the Millennium items must be recovered. As a descendant of a clan of gravekeepers, I can sense the fate pulses the oh faint the faint pulses of the millennium items you must first make your way to the e egypt e to the egypt exhibition if my feelings are correct the first of the millennium items should be there great i know what i ask is a great imposition but i have no one to turn to except for you i just don't believe that you have no one else to turn to. Sure, leave it to us. The words have given me hope for the first time in a long time. I leave the fate of the world in your hands. Well, that sounds like a bad idea. I feel like she could probably... If she has gravekeepers, wouldn't she be a better duelist than me, probably? You're going? The Egyptian... Shouldn't it be the Egyptian e e exhibit instead of the Egypt exhibition? <laughs> it's very confusing. Is the last stop on the Dual Express. I don't think it's left yet, but it will soon. If you hurry up, you can still catch it at the station. I'll be waiting at Yugi's grandpa's place. Come see us when you get back, okay? Okay, bye. I didn't really mean to go down there. I want to ride the Express, but my level... I'll get creamed in seconds. Okay. 
Today's the day the Duel Express starts chugging. The best duelists have entered this tournament. When I say the best, I mean the best. I can't, can't talk to this man. Say you're a true duelist, but you're just an amateur that likes playing games. You're all talk. Okay. Thanks, I guess. Well, how do I talk to that guy? He's like all the way in the corner. You're a duelist, aren't you? I can tell from your duel disc. Boy, there sure are a lot of duelists in town of Domino. Oh, I remember this place. This is where Kaiba Corp is. I'm a huge fan of Mr. Seto Kaiba. I wonder if Kaiba Corporation would hire me. Probably not. Dueling is only fun if you don't cheat. You should always choose anti-cards before dueling. That way there won't be any arguments later. Oh, right. In this game, you like... You bet your cards. But I, if I... I don't know if there's any benefit to betting more rare cards or not. I think I would always bet bad cards. So I don't know. You're Seto Kaiba, aren't you? Oh, why is Rebecca here? Who are you? You're not very polite. I'm Rebecca, and this is my friend Teddy. A stuffed animal is your friend? Be quiet, Teddy's not a stuffed animal. Teddy's the best bear in the galaxy, <laughs> growl. And we know a secret, don't we, Teddy? <laughs> he doesn't look like he knows any secrets. You're the one who tar up, tore up Solomon Moto's card. You tore up his blue eyes white dragon. How did you know? My grandfather gave Mr. Moto that card. That blue eyes white dragon was a symbol of their friendship, but you tore it up. You're not going to get away with that, right, Teddy? I don't think he cares. So what do you want me to do? Set there, just ignore her. I challenge you to a duel. I'll wipe that smirk off your face. Because you're facing the United States champion. Right, Teddy? U.S. champ? That's it? At your duelist level, I can defeat you blindfolded. <laughs> At my level? Are you making fun of me? No, I'm just telling the truth. Your skills are nothing but a joke. But if you still insist on challenging me... I have a better idea. Duel against Slixis. Why me? If you can beat him, I'll duel you. Rebecca, I know you're upset, but there's no point attacking Kaiba. Yugi, I'm not challenging Kaiba because I'm angry. I want to duel him to test my skills, right, Teddy? Stop asking, Teddy. Rebecca! Hmm, are you really that strong of a duelist? Nope. You sure don't look it. Teddy doesn't think so either. Oh, I think... We haven't saved. I think if we lose, we go back to the start of the game. I don't remember how this works. Better not lose. But I'm still dueling you. Sure. Okay. So you can already see... We gotta pick a card to ante up. Probably pick, like, Skull Servant, because we got a few extras of those. But you can see that our cards are just terrible, right? We got this card where we can't even see the full name of the card. Like, our cards are really bad. Um... We'll just ante up Skull Servant, I think. This is a low level anti card. Oh. So there are different levels? We need a rare card to ante up. But I don't think I have any. Because we probably get better rewards for anteing. Uh... I didn't think that was the case, but maybe it is the case. Like, do we have anything of any rarity at all? Or, like, what defines a rare card? Like, a one of a kind can't be an ante. So, why does this mystical elf have. Is it an effect card? It can power up blue eyes white dragons on the own field? <laughs> Excuse me? I don't think they know what mystical elf does. But yeah, I think like right here is where our cards end, right? Um, 
What about this? Is this a... Wait, what? This is also a little... I don't know how it canceled there. I definitely pressed A. What about this? Okay, that was not a low level one, apparently. All right. Okay, so... I don't really remember how to play, but we'll figure it out. Can I... How do I figure out what you do? I, oh, here we go. An enchanted lamp that has a special de power despite its stats. Its attack power can be used to damage the opponent. Oh, that's not very useful. I have no idea how good her cards are going to be either. And like I said, I don't... So, I can't remember if it's the type or the attribute. So you can see here, like, the Petite Dragon. It's a, a dragon type. And its attribute is wind, even though for some reason it says summon. Um, maybe it's the summon that beats certain things. Wait. Oh, now I pick where it goes. Okay. I would like to defend. I don't know if they can see... It says it's face down. No. Oh. She had just enough attack. Uh, do I have anything that can beat that? What type are you? Your dream type? Excuse me? That's not a that's not an attribute in Yu-Gi-Oh. What beats dream type? You think fiend beats dream type? Should I look up the types or should I just like go for it. I think I'm just gonna go for it. I could just like summon Furious Sea King and crash. I feel like I'd be better off doing this because if she doesn't summon a more powerful monster. Aha. Oh that's interesting. So there's no like battle phase. So like she attacked with that and then she decided to not do anything with her other card. Ooh, and I drew Leo Gun. So we actually drew um, a tribute monster. Oh, I have to tribute my card first. It's very confusing. Alright, we're winning. As long as she somehow doesn't beat my Leo gun. See, the problem is the CPU probably knows all card advantages. Whereas I don't know any of them. Um, probably just summon the Furious Sea King. Ouch. Yeah, it's until we get something else that could actually... You have 50 more attack than me. Maybe I should have killed that. I thought it only had 800 attack. But that's okay for me because now I can actually do damage again. But you have 750, right? Yeah. Might as well summon you. Please beat it. Oh, jeez. This is impossible. I also like that they gave you 8,000 life points for this, so it's actually just gonna take a millennium to do anything. What does this do? Like, heal you a little bit? By 200. Amazing. Well, like another 50 damage. Yo, what do you do? What does this card do? A spell that causes the banishment of a monster to darkness. If attacked... It destroys a monster on the foe's field. If attacked? Excuse me? I don't know what that means. Oh well, we're just gonna stick with our strategy for now, and if she summons something crazy, then we'll try and use that card. Oh, that was a stalemate. If only we had a card that was powerful enough to kill that. Spellbinding Circle will be weakened. 
Oh, what? That's not what Spellbinding Circle does. Okay, we got another tribute, though. Should I tribute over my Leo gun? See, the problem is, is all of her cards are <laughs> better than my cards, just barely. Uh, I feel like I don't tribute over the Leo gun, just because if she then deals with the Peacock, then I have a problem. I think we just stick with the same strategy. Oh my gosh, she's gonna kill my... I think. We don't even have half of her life points yet. This is crazy. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. So, it turns out wind beats um, earth, whatever our Leo gun was. So that's problematic. I don't know what beats wind. Pretty sure fire beats forest. None of these cards can do anything. They can't even defend me. I guess I should have sacrificed the peacock because she... I don't think she's had any fire, unless that Blast Juggler was fire. I don't know. I think we're going to lose now. Unless I get another one of those dudes that can block. Yeah, I don't know. This seems bad. I could summon Mystical Lamp and attack directly, but I don't, I don't think that's the play. And I'm pretty sure you can only summon once per turn. Like, I can't, like, tribute that card and then immediately summon Peacock. I think it would let me tribute the card if I remember correctly. Um, but then we'd just be sad. Yeah, this seems really bad. I don't even know if I have a monster that has enough defense to survive those things. Wait, hold up. What do you do? If the monsters attack... That attack it. Still don't know what it means by attack it, but that's okay. How much attack do you have? Only 700, but I don't have enough defense to survive that. I feel like we save our beckon thing in case she tributes. Oh, you don't get to choose if you activate your trap card. It just kind of goes off. <laughs> Alright. Well, that's not good. Okay, so we remember wind. We don't have any wind. Wind would beat this guy. Okay, it just picked the strongest one, I guess. Sure. Yeah, we're gonna lose. Is this guy fire? He is fire, so we would have lost the other way. I summon the peacock. Yeah, we're just getting beat down now. We shouldn't have fought. Uh, Rebecca. <laughs> Why are my cards so bad? Um, I guess we'll figure out what happens when we die. And then we'll go from there. Should not have fought Rebecca first. She's got every single type in the book. Got an earth, a water, a wind, and a fire on the field. Alright, I lost. Okay, we're back here. Wait, you have to restore your life points? I don't remember that. I guess we'll save. So we need to... First of all, can we go up here? No. We need to earn some cards that we can use as antis, I guess. Oh, hey, it's a Shizu. <clears throat> yeah, look, whatever. 
Okay, so we could go to the station. I don't know if we're supposed to go to the station or not, but let's not do that yet. I'd like to find some cards, if at all possible. Did you hear about the... Did you, whatever. I want to fight someone that I can beat, maybe. Oh, hey, it's Tristan and Duke. I heard from Taya. I know you... Oh, what? What did you hear from her? There's a dog. Let's go in the game shop. Grandpa, I'm home. Hmm, did any new rare cards come in? We should buy some cards and strengthen our decks. Be careful. Wasn't there a way I could fight these people? Hello, good to see you. I have some excellent cards. Sure, let's buy some cards. So I have $500. Um, all these cards cost more than I have money. Also, all of your cards are just terrible. How do how do I edit my deck? Not what I want. Deck. Okay. We need more of this guy. That guy's got good defense. Add to trunk. How do I add cards to my deck? I don't have more of that guy. Well, that's a shame. <laughs> Okay, that's the card that we ante up, right? Man, I don't have any cards to add that would be beneficial at all. So I feel like beating Rebecca is not really an option right now. We need to find something that we can beat. <laughs> would be a good starting place. And there's got to be... Oh, I swear there was a way to challenge people. Okay. Figured it out, apparently. Uh, I don't know if we can beat Joey, though. Sure. Kunai with chain? Isn't that a trap card? <laughs> okay, well, he's off to a pretty good start. But we got rid of that monster. Uh, does this thing always have 800 attack? If I remember correctly, there's also like certain fields where some monsters, kind of like Duelist Kingdom rules, certain monsters are just stronger on certain fields. Okay, we might be off to an okay start against Joey here. What? Okay, so Fiend beats Dream. Good to know. What does this do? Like, 50 damage? Yeah, 50 life point damage. Alright, well... I would describe that as not a very good card, but that's how it goes. Well, that sucked that we lost our high defense card. Because he just happened to pull something that was advantageous. Oh, but he had- he might kill this too, because he has a lot of fiends. I think I should attack with the- Alright. Oh, we'll just put that guy in defense mode then. Um, so that guy's earth, so we need wind. Okay, we have wind right there. We'll start to learn the- the matchups. But he did just switch himself to attack mode. So there is that. Can I summon later? Like, can I attack and then 
Jeez. What is this? Light? I don't know what beats light. But I was thinking, like, I could summon now after I've attacked to figure out what his cards are. I really need a tribute card? That would help a lot. Aha! So that's Earth. Thunder. How do we get past the Swordsman of Landstar? What would be... If Fiend beats Dream... Then Fiend wouldn't also beat Light, right? So Light probably beats Fiend. But we already know that Dream doesn't beat Light because it didn't work before. I think we just keep setting cards, honestly. This is like trying to figure out how to play Pokemon here. Haha! <laughs> what is Time Wizard? Is that Dream type? Yeah, he's Dream type. I don't really want to summon more stuff. <laughs> like, we got a good assortment of types here that can beat things. I just need to wait, probably. What would be... I'm tempted to look it up because I don't know... Like, I don't know what other types there are. I'm gonna look it up. Yu-Gi-Oh! Reship of Destruction Type Advantages Please Someone tell me what the type advantages are Dream beats Dark Dark beats Light Light beats Fiend Fiend beats Dream Okay, so forest beats wind, wind beats earth. Do we need a dark? Have we even seen a dark? Do we have a dark? We'll leave that open just in case. It'll be in the background. Okay, so, I mean, like, really all we can do right now is just keep... The problem is that he's not going to summon stuff in attack mode... Unless I summon something face down, right? Oh well. If I get a tribute, then this changes. Oh, he found a fiend. Oh, this is a... wait. Hold up. <laughs> it says shadow. That was not one of the types that they mentioned. I'm going to assume that shadow means dark. Seems like a safe assumption, right? Yes, okay. Now we can start winning. And we've got such a strong field, there's like no way that he'll just wipe our field, right? Hopefully. So if we do eventually draw a tribute, it'll be cool. But I guess you can kind of also, like, if you're trying to farm someone, you can kind of counter-build them. Um, just so your deck has a super advantage over them. I think I should attack with this. Oh. It hurts so much.
At least he's not attacking. Okay, like, what does this do? It's the one that just flips over their cards, right? Every enemy monster on the field is fully revealed. He has 3,600 life points. I can't kill him this turn, so I might as well not even bother using that. Alright, it seems like we're actually going to win a battle for once. Well, I mean, we've only done two battles, right? The first one didn't really seem very fair, either. Rebecca, oh, was obviously much stronger than us. Ah, yes. We have an electric lizard. Don't attack her with the electric lizard, that would be a mistake. Alright, we're actually gonna win this one. Dual victory. Your deck capacity increased by one. Isn't our deck capacity like 1600? It increased by one? Candle of fate. Uh, yeah, you're doing okay, I think. Alright, hold up. Candle of fate seems way better than like half of the cards we currently have in our deck, so... I need to take a card out first? Are you kidding me? What's one of our, like, weaker cards? Like this. Your forest. I think we have enough forests that I won't feel bad about losing you. Okay, do I try beating Yugi now? Maybe I try versing Taya. Duel against me? You have that kind of time, go help a sheet. Okay, well. Sure, let's see how your deck's shaping up. We'll try and beat all of our, like, friend group here, maybe. Use that card. It's my turn. Like, what the heck do you do? It spies on foes. It has the ability to reveal cards in the foe's hand. Okay. I think we set a trap card. And then might as well just sit this stuff. I don't even know how to use that thing's effect. I'm thinking maybe we'll figure it out next turn. Maneater bug. You summoned a maneater bug in attack mode? Are you crazy? It will reveal the cards in the opponent's hand. Excuse me. <laughs> How do I see the cards in his hand? What do you mean it will? <laughs> Alright, well, I'm... that also, by the way, uh, he can't attack now. No! <laughs> oh, jeez. Spellbinding Circle, are you kidding me? Monster Reborn! Oh right, my life points aren't full. Because that makes sense. Hey, didn't we decide that Fiend beats Dream? Is that- I'm gonna check the thing. Yeah, Fiend beats Dream. So that means I can beat that guy. But is that worth it? Or should I just put this guy in defense mode? Yeah, I'm never using that weird monster eyes effect again. That obviously did not accomplish what I wanted. Oh, he played a fiend? What are the odds? <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, we can't summon that because Fiend beats Dream. And what does Wind beat? Wind beats Earth. Forest beats Wind. Yeah, sure, whatever. It's so confusing. 
I, if I summon my Cyber Commander, I'm worried that the game... If he dies, then I think we lose. So I'm just gonna hope he doesn't have a fire type right now. Oh, you killed us both? Probably should have considered that possibility. What beats Fiend? Light beats Fiend. He doesn't seem to have any light cards. I feel like we just gotta summon the Cyber Commander and try and do some damage here. Oh, he has Sangin? And it was a fiend as well. Oh no, I think that's it then. Do I even have any light cards? I think we lost to Yugi. Can I surrender? <laughs> Ouch. There's no way I can keep a card on the field. Wait. <laughs> I can't summon this guy. Because Fiend beats him. Oh no, what a disaster. Oh wait, I do have a light? Oh, here we go. We have a chance. At the moment, he can't kill this guy. Oh, he can't, he can't beat it. Okay. I mean, he hasn't had any fires, right? So I think we just tribute and summon Peacock. We need to get rid of the Skull Servant, because that thing's a problem. Also, does Maneater Bug even have an effect in this game? It doesn't appear to have an effect. <laughs> Spellblinding Circle, that's not that bad. Could be worse. I feel like we should reveal what his face downs are. Okay, so he's got another fiend right there. And then, what does... Dark beats light, but dream beats dark. Oh, this is so confusing. Uh, I just need you to stay on the field for one turn. So Peacock needs to kill the fiend. And then you can kill whatever. Doesn't really matter, but we should probably get rid of the Exodia piece just in case. Okay, what do we have? I should probably just summon Leo Gun right now, right? There's no way he could kill everything. I don't think. I think I, I summon another monster. Because then I could summon Beast of Talwar. Assuming everything goes good. Attack that. Attack that. I think we summon this dude.
Okay, now we can summon the Beast of Tower War. If we want to. He has 6,300 life points. <laughs> I feel like summoning these other things is not very useful. But he is a fiend. And fiend dies to light. He hasn't summoned any lights though, right? I don't think he's had any lights. Mm, I feel like I just get super greedy and summon this thing. So if I summon this and I can summon Leo Gun over it, then we're in a really good spot. And if he didn't attack, then I have to imagine that all of these beat whatever this is. Yeah. Oh, good thing I didn't summon Leo Gun because he does have a lot of wins. Oh, okay, well. Could have been worse. Tribute this guy for Leo Gun. Alright, we're about to wait. We're gonna have to go heal after this. Which is odd that we have to go heal in Yu-Gi-Oh, but I guess that's how it is. Oh, we got Starboy. He doesn't have an effect in this game, does he? No. <laughs> does not appear to have an effect. Alright, please work. Okay. I think we win. So the opponent is out of life points. Dual victory. Spellbinding Circle. It's a spell card. Okay. <laughs> Powers down every monster on the opponent's field. I feel like I should put my, that in my deck immediately. That seems very good. We could get rid of this. We do not need that card. Where's Spellbinding Circle at? There it is. What? What do you mean? I... Your duelist level is below the cost? That's a thing? I was- because I was looking up at the top at your deck capacity over there. And I was like, yeah, it fits. Um, but apparently your duelist level also has to be high enough to have the card in your deck. Um, either way, we're taking out um, Sparks because that is just awful. What can we add? You. What are you, Earth? Good enough. Well, that's not fair. What was my Duelist level? 72? Alright, well. Let's go heal up. And then... Am I supposed to fight Rebecca first, or... I don't know what I'm supposed to do when. We'll do like one more duel in this one. This one might be a little bit longer than the other ones, but... I'm trying to figure out what's going on here, you know. Now, I imagine this is the way... Maybe not. I want to get on the Duel Express, but I'm lost and can't find Domino Station. Okay, so we need to get to Domino Station. Now, I, I imagine I can probably fight random people now that I figured out how to duel people. Why don't we fight Tristan and Duke? And we'll just use this card as our ante. A Griggle. It's hard to, because it only says like three, so you can't tell if it's 300 attack or 350 attack. He has 350 attack in case you were wondering. I feel like I go in with the mechanical spider here. That way we could save 
our more powerful thing in case he has like an earth type. If I remember correctly, Tristan's like ace monster dude is uh Cyber Commander or whatever the heck. The thing that we used we've been using was 750 attack. That's like kinda his signature card. Please don't be a wind. Okay. <laughs> Would have been very destructive if he had a wind. Okay, he's got a lot of forest stuff, so I feel like, yeah, this fire card probably gonna be pretty decent. All right, Tristan's pretty weak. He doesn't seem to have very much over three hundred and fifty attack. Okay, we're kind of figuring out how this game works. I still don't know any of the matchups, really, but... I mean, I know the obvious ones. The ones that are confusing me are... Fiend, Dream, Light, and Shadow. That's where I'm getting real confused, but... It'll be okay. It's time to summon this guy. Like... Fire beats forest, forest beats wind, thunder beats water. So I just gotta remember, dream beats dark, dark beats light. See, that one's tough, because it's very back and forth in lots of games. Some games are like, dark beats light, but light also beats dark, so they're like good against each other. In this one, it is chosen that light beats dark, but dream, or that dark beats light, but dream beats dark. And light beats fiend, but fiend beats dream. I'm just not gonna remember that. If I can just remember that dark beats light, maybe we could go from there. But then I need to remember fiend beats dream. So, Dark beats Light and Fiend beats Dream. We can remember that, maybe we could go from there. What are we doing? We're about to win, huh? Okay, so Tristan very easy to beat. You could probably farm Tristan pretty easily. He gives you three dollars though. He does give you bite shoes. We could just farm bite shoes. If you're ever in the mood for competition, you know where to find me. Can we fight the dog? Surely not, right? Yeah. I don't really consider myself a duelist, but I could duel better than that loser Trist. <laughs> Alright, highly rude. Inexperienced spy. The opponent's hand will be revealed. Well, as far as I know, that doesn't do anything, but... Okay, so what beats Earth here? It's wind, right? Wind beats Earth, okay. Yup. So, we just happen to have a wind monster. Nope, that's light. I thought that was wind. Is my morphing jar better than yours? It is, so... Okay, he's got nothing at the moment. Now the question is, is, is my morphing jar is pretty decent. If I just sacrifice my morphing jar and then lose my doma, that would be pretty bad. He had a fire. I feel like I just summoned the Furious Sea King. Gives me two 800 attack monsters. Okay, he's still got nothing at the moment. Oh, there's a wind. I feel like I summoned Rollbird. If 
we can use the Droll Bird as the tribute, that would be way better. Okay, well there goes the Droll Bird. <laughs> We're still at an okay spot. Just replace it with Weather Control. Alright, there goes Weather <laughs> We can't keep the last thing on the board at the moment, but... We just need something slightly stronger. But we will just win if this keeps up, so... Oh, really? So earlier he just didn't have any 700 attacks, and now he just hasn't stopped sending out 700 attacks. Okay, finally. I think we just tribute you for Doma. How many life points do you have? Well, let's hope you're not a light. Okay. What is this, the Electric Lizard? Yeah. Dual Monsters is a pretty deep game, isn't it? Yeah, especially when you throw these wonky rules in here. So can I just, like, battle you people? I still have my pride as a duelist. I don't feel like dueling, but I'll still take you on. Fair and square. Okay. Apparently I can duel this guy. Well, we don't know what he has. I feel like I put this. I just hope that's good enough. I don't have any tribute monsters at the moment. Bite shoes. Okay, this guy's not very strong then. Okay, hold on. Fiend. Mm, I don't want to look, but I don't remember. Okay, so dark beats light, light beats fiend, so fiend must beat dream by that logic, right? Yes, fiend beats dream. So that means that I don't want to summon this guy right now. Okay, there's Doma. I feel like I just tribute you and summon Doma. And Dream beats Dark. We haven't seen him have any Dream yet. Is this gonna work? Yes. This is okay against him. We're winning pretty hard at the moment, so. We still have our dream card. I think it's time to summon him. Yeah, all of his cards suck, okay. But he's probably going to kill my Wicked Mirror because his entire deck appears to be Dream. Or, not Dream, uh, Fiend. Oh, 
Okay. Oh, this guy gave me three deck capacity and pot the trick. Oh, <laughs> I was like, is that like a weird pot of greed? Uh, no, it's just bad. Instead of a fair and square, maybe we should have played by my rules. Yeah, how does that make any sense? Okay, well, I think we're going to take a break here. I don't know if we're supposed to go beat Rebecca. So we might wait on Rebecca. Because she seemed to have all types, so it's not like I can just counter build her. Um, I think I just need stronger cards <laughs> to be able to beat Rebecca. Or to get lucky early on. But again, like all she has to do is kill my tribute summon the card, and then all of a sudden it's really hard for me to keep another card on the field. So I only have one of those weird genie dudes that has 900 defense. It's kind of tough, um, but I think we'll try and go to the, the Dual Express next time. Um, and if it doesn't let us do that and we have to beat Rebecca first, then we'll figure out how we're going to beat Rebecca. But anyways, this is an interesting start. Uh, you can see that there's a confusing matchup table that we got to learn um, because it's very easy to just lose your powerful monsters if you don't know the matchup table. Uh, so you got to be careful with that. But anyways... Uh, we're starting with here, we're, we're starting here, um, and we'll see if we have to, like, farm someone so we can maybe get some anti-cards or something, um, and we do need our duelist level up, but I don't even know how to get our duelist level up, uh, it just seems like we're increasing our capacity, but not our duelist level, so I don't really know how that works, but we'll figure it out, hopefully, maybe, anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this one, and I will see you next time.